Hi and welcome to my first YouTube video. Uh, so apologies for everything I screw up in advance and uh, please try and cut me some slack. I'm hoping this video should help people who have a faulty IBM uh, Model M keyboard or just need to clean and service one of these fab little pieces of uh, late 80s, early 90s tech. Clicky keyboards seem to have made a bit of a comeback lately with high street retailers selling mechanical keyboards for serious money. Now I know the IBM keyboards won't have all the bells and whistles of a Razer Black Widow for example, but they can be picked up for around about £25 on eBay. So the savings are big and they do have buckling spring technology, which to me at least feels better than modern micro switches. This is the label on the underside of my uh, IBM Model M2 keyboard showing uh, copyright IBM 1989, not quite sure when it's made, um, made in the UK, uh, which is probably pretty good. And a couple of signatures there, presumably for um, quality control and that sort of thing, I guess. On the underside of the keyboard, there are a couple of uh, square, uh, square-headed screws. Um, you can actually take them apart with a flathead screwdriver, as you can see in the, in the clip there, um, if you don't have the, the correct type of square head. After you've taken the two, two square-headed screws off the back of the keyboard, you need to start popping off the keycaps. Um, be a bit cautious, they do, they do tend to fly everywhere, um, especially be careful with the uh, double size keys, they have a, a lever on one side of them um, and you need to make sure that you don't break them. But again, it's fairly simple, you just a uh, little bit of pressure and they, they'll all pop off. I try and uh, tend to keep each, each row of keys in a separate plastic bag, so one bag for each row. Uh, makes it much easier when you're putting the thing back together to find, uh, to find the keys you're looking for. There are some differences between the uh, UK and US uh, keyboard layout, of course, and the, uh, the underside of the springs are no exception to, to these differences. Um, other international keyboards will have uh, different spring layouts as well, but we'll, we'll come back to that and um, I'll put plenty of opportunity or a bit of a heads up when you probably need to pause the video and, uh, and you're putting your springs back because it does take quite a while. If you have a fault with your M2, such as all keys not working or the three LEDs lit constantly, it's probably a fault with the keyboard controller circuit shown here. The fix is pretty easy if you have fair soldering skills. Mine are pretty bad, but I've repaired a few of these keyboards, so it must be easy. Over time, the capacitors will probably have dried up and are causing issues. I've highlighted the two components to replace in red here. The smaller capacitor, Mark C3, is a 2.2 microfarad 50 volt type and the larger capacitor marked C1 on the PCB is a 47 microfarad 16 volt version. Both of these can be replaced for a couple of pounds or a couple of dollars with modern electrolytic or tantalum types. The two capacitors are, uh, are surface mount types, so ideally you need to apply heat to them. Uh, maybe uh, maybe prize in them slightly with a pair of pliers and they'll, uh, they'll just pop off or a pair of tweezers. Um, that's, that's the manufacturing type. I, I replace mine with regular, uh, regular through-hole type uh, capacitors. Obviously, just soldering onto the SMT pads. I'll try and um, remember to make uh, a note underneath the video of those uh, those two capacitor types, um, so just to make it a little bit easier for you when you're ordering. But you can get them from eBay, RS, Farnell. Okay, when it comes to putting the whole thing back together, um, I mentioned before the, the tens of tens of springs you need to put back into place. You can see here, this is this is for the UK version of the keyboard. Um, I've marked all the places where there should be no spring uh, with a red dot. Um, you'll find that different, uh, as I mentioned before, different, uh, different countries have, uh, the springs will be in different places. Some will be included, some won't be. Uh, specifically, I noticed the US keyboard has um, two springs on the return key and the UK one doesn't, oddly enough, 
and yet the gap's still there, but uh, certainly none of the ones I've had have had that spring in place. You can see when you're putting back the double uh, double keys, uh, there's a difference between the two plugs there, one of which has, uh, has a spring which fits inside it and one of which doesn't, so you can tell straight away that uh, you put the springs in the right place uh, when you're putting the keyboard back together. When you're putting the keys back on or clipping them back in, try and make sure the springs are in the top part of the key. Um, what happens if they're in the lower part of the key, uh, they won't work properly, they won't click anymore. And if you have a look at the, um, the keycap here, you can see there's a sort of indentation towards the top of the key, which is where the spring has to locate. Hopefully your springs all, all look like this. However, if you've messed up a little bit, um, what tends to happen is the end of the spring gets kinked. I can't find a way to fix this. And maybe if you do know a way, uh, you could uh, pop a comment in the uh, comment section. That would be brilliant. Uh, the only solution I found is actually to put the springs that are a little bit wrecked into positions where, um, where they're not used so much, such as the bores and brake break button locations. Putting the springs in, in the un, some of the unused locations, they do, they do still work, but they don't make the nice clicking sound or tactile feedback that you normally get. And uh, I promise I didn't uh, damage these springs in the making of this video. The keyboard was, uh, was already damaged before it got to me. Thanks for watching and I hope this video has helped you repair or refurbish your IBM Model M M2 keyboard and uh, any comments please leave them in the comment section if you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe if you're interested in seeing some more videos. Thanks guys.